Welcome back, everybody. It's not episode 20.8. It's actually episode 20.9 for those of you on the YouTube. Uh, I can't keep track of episodes. Michael Drake in the chat on Twitch already predicted it. Uh, maybe indirectly. Didn't actually directly predict it, but might as well have, in all honesty, to be fair. And um, <laughs> it's 20.9. So uh, the one thing I do have to do now that I remember is I have to change the player names again because I did a load like an idiot. So right. what did you... I knew there was something familiar about that score. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's episode 20.9. Um, and we're, we're kicking along preseason. We're already at the end of July, right? The 20, the 24th of July. Um, so yeah, we look all right. Uh, we're going to have Tarleton Corinthians next. Um, and, uh, we have one more friendly after that. The friend, this is the last of the condensed friendly. So I actually scheduled four games, each of them a weekend apart. And then the 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 board came in and scheduled like three or four friendlies in between those weekends, and I canceled three of them because they cl clashed with the Euro tournament. So we went to watch the Euros, and I later found out John Williams wrote the score for the 20 2002 World Cup game. That's interesting. He did it for the uh, LA Olympics as well. So like Bugler's theme which is a very popular it's it's used for the olympics out here bugler's theme uh you might have heard of it um but bugler's theme is essentially this so this is bugler's theme in america nobody knows it's actually bugler's theme everyone just says oh that's the olympics song because it's used in all the adverts and all the stuff like on the commercials and it's used in all the cutaways and the stingers and, you know, whatever on the television broadcast. So people know it as the Olympic song. I knew there was something familiar about that score. Yeah. So <clears throat> um, he actually wrote that and he wrote that for the L.A. Olympics, which I couldn't tell you when they were. <laughs> Uh, 19 something, 1984. So, um, he's a really good composer. He obviously, we, you know, he did the Star Wars theme and all that stuff, but like he, he's phenomenal. Like, um, just some of his works that he's created. Um, they're, they're going to live long past him. You know what I mean? So, um, but I didn't know he did the World Cup song, the 2002 World Cup song. What is the the 2002 World Cup? Uh, not the theme song, right? It's the it's the final, right? Is it this? No, the video game. FIFA 2002 World Cup song. Which one? This one? Tranmere for Watts, Watts. Frack is back. This is the intro. Maybe I actually need to get the OST going, right? I got I found the soundtrack. Here we go. Here's the soundtrack. Track 1. Frack is back. Let me put him back on the side, by the way. Frack for Harrison, but Harrison's coming off the bench for Kerry Evans.
This is the first track. And then there's the second one. This sounds very John Williams. I will give you that. That does sound very John Williams. Uh, let's kick on, shall we? Uh, let's see here. What do we have? That two days until the fixture, now day until the fixture, pretty much, because training is done for the day, so pretty much a day for the fixture. <clears throat> MLS kicking on, Union are probably not making the playoffs, rip. So... Let's see how... Uh, how deep we can get to I think we can get at least one more game. Obviously, at least one more game. We'll probably get two, in all honesty. We'll probably get two games done uh, tonight. And move, and then next episode can be the Senior Cup, the CLG Senior Cup. And then after that, uh, we'll be into the season. So we'll, we'll be streaming tomorrow as well. And uh, I, I don't know how long we're going to get in tomorrow. Because I do have to do... I am golfing, obviously. I won't be back from golf until near 5 o'clock. And uh, after that, we've got the... i got to do some stuff around the house as well. And my last day of vacation is Tuesday. So I'll definitely be streaming Tuesday. I'll be probably at the gym early in the morning on Tuesday. So I can give myself basically the whole day. Um, to just clean up some loose ends around the house again, and then um, basically uh, whatever else I need to do, like my local taxes. I did my federal taxes. I need to do my local ones. But um, then that's it. <clears throat> Wednesday I'll be back to the grind. But... Um, I just I'm thinking about what I have to do Tuesday, and I'm I'm, I'm actually rearranging one of the rooms right now, so the guest bedroom uh, is getting rearranged. So I just don't like the the layout of it. It needs to be. I, I th there's a way to change it. Like I haven't actually the problem is I haven't actually decided on the layout, and uh, it's one of these things where I definitely know the layout can be better because. There need I, more space needs to be freed up, you know, and so I don't know. That's that's where I'm currently at. Is that I know I can get more space out of the room, but the room needs a redesign in order to do that. Um, Potts is injured. That's not great. He's one of our backup to the backup. So Potts doesn't play regularly, but he does. Whenever we do have a center back that goes out, whether on suspension or injury, uh, usually Potts gets named as a sub then. Um, it's the same with Nicky Roberts. He's the goalkeeper. Uh, right now, he's actually the backup goalkeeper. So Olivier, uh, where is he? Or Oliver Ro Rollins has to come in. So, because uh, he's going to be out. Uh, for two to three weeks. So that is a significant chunk of preseason. That's two to three weeks gives us shit. This is what, I mean, this is one week right here on the third and three weeks is even after the CLG senior cup. He's not going to be back till the, really the start of the regular season. Um, so same with P Potts is out four to five. So where are we at with the calendar? This is one on the third, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so he'll he'll, he'll be back. Potts isn't going to be ready until the regular season. So we're going to have to try and do without two. I mean, obviously they're backups and not starters, so you know, I'm not I'm not overly concerned, but uh, I guess I shouldn't be because they're going to be back for the re they're both going to be back for the regular season. So really, no harm, no foul. They're just out for the for the rest of the preseason. Could be a lot worse. I'll put it that way. It could be 
a lot worse. Uh, so anyway, uh, what we got? Ported down, signed Cook. Training and review. We've got Tarleton Corinthians, who are in the Mid Lancaster and District Mid Lancaster and District League Premier Division. That is level what? 13? 14? 14. So they're five le le leagues above us. In fact, I want to say most of the teams were Mid Lancaster. Yeah. So we're Eccleston and Heston. We beat them 3 0. Uh, Bury Amateur Reserves are just in the division above us. We beat them 3-1. And then Cheshire Football League 3-1. I want to say that's level 13. Level 12. And we beat them 3-0. And Preston Wanderers, mid Lancashire, and just that's also a level 14 side. So we're doing good. Giant killers. Yeah, it's all preseason. So I mean, what, do I really want to look into it? You know what I mean? Probably not. But <clears throat> preseason is going well is the main point i think the main remark is is what i need to to do or emphasize i should say so um let's uh let's kick on and get ready for this friendly which should be the penultimate one of the night uh, i need to get a bottle of water so let me play a song for you guys real quick because I haven't had a my, my throat's getting dry obviously all the talking and I haven't uh, I haven't had a drink of water in about an hour to an hour and a half so let me get some water real quick and uh, I'll be right back I'm gonna run the ads in the meantime just to get them out of the way um, so just be aware of that but anyway I will be right back
Okay. I'm back. Uh, give me one second. I had a, a friend reach out and send a message. I just got to answer a question really quickly. Oh, that's a good song that just came on. <laughs> but, uh, oh, this is, uh, okay. This is fluid. It wasn't, I thought it was, um, oh, fuck, what was the name of it? 18 Strings. Uh, which is a great track. Anyway, uh, we are back. Frack is back. Frack is back. Frack is back. That is the great part. Frack is back for the first preseason game. It means our regular partnership between Frack and Spaps is back. Shim is, is, is out on the left here uh, with Parks. So we got five really good partnerships going. Uh, this is the main squad. The only uh, difference is Rollins is in for, obviously, our other backup goalkeeper that got uh, hurt. Nicholas, I think his name is. But nonetheless, uh we are ready to go. And uh, let's get our walkout song. Now now everybody's happy. I absolutely hate the fact that they've added this in FM or that this has been in FM in the recent years. Like, this is just so pointless. This screen is just so pointless. Reaction to the starting lineup. Like, bitch. Everybody knows. <clears throat> But it's a great chance to impress. Twinkle's always going to start, mate. There's the team sheet out of lineups. Uh, let's go. Form and fitness. I can't say it, give me a selection headache because it's going to be the – this is the normal starting 11. So there's no selection headache here. They're, they're going to be the team we go with for the majority of the season. There's the managers. And we are about ready to get underway. That should be the whistle. There it is. And we're, we are underway with... Uh, t that says Tarlet at the top. But I think it was... What was it? Tar Tarleton Town? Is that, what it, is that what we're playing? I can't remember. Uh, it doesn't matter who we're playing. But um, it actually does. But still, it's preseason. So I guess it kind of does a little bit less. Nonetheless, good cutout parks. Sneaky got on the left. Ah, she must need, didn't need to tuck in. Like, you're in space. Stay with the space. That's good cross back to Spaps. Like, just run just run on the wing, man. If, if, if Sneaky's here with the ball in center and he needs an out and you have space by going wide, then go wide. Stay wide. No need to tuck in. You can just stay wide, and the, the line's got to push with you because you got the ball. So just you, you, use it. It's a good block for the cross. It's a corner early. Let's see what we can do off this. Sheamus, that's a pretty good position for the corner. Just nobody was there for it. Because it kind of, don't give it back to Sheamus. He's going to be off sides. <sighs> I can solid cut out. Connie's gonna have to run a mile to get that ball. That was quite a sprint. And uh couldn't find Snicky on the through pass. They're really set up well to counter. That's what they look like they're set up right now, which we're susceptible to because we play very attacking football. Oh, boy. Oh, my word off the post. Holy moly. I think Brock might have got a small tip to that. I don't know if he did or did not. It's listed as a shot on target, which would suggest that Brock got something on it. To 
tip it onto the post, but whoa, that was a big chance for them. That is a great ball. That is, come on, Sheamus, finish the play. Oh. Sheamus did so well. Like, he knocked the ball down. He, pl he played that so well. And the ball itself was magnificent. Come on, don't play it to Snicky. They're off sides. There you go, Frack. Frack for Spaps. Lovely stuff. I think Spaps is on here. It's, oh, it's too deep. Cross is too deep in the box. The idea was right. Snicky was trying to peel off their man towards the back post. So the, the idea there was right, but. It's a good play from Frack. Frack is Frack is really good at 1v1s, by the way. Oh, Coney Kung. Oh. Not quite. <clears throat> Not quite there for us. Or at least for Coney Kung. So, Spaps. Oh, that's such a good ball. Why is nobody there? That's such a dangerous ball. 10 yards out, 12 yards out in front of the face of goal like that. Come on. Given goes off. Good movements, Baps. Uh, why did the ball come back right? The ball should have switched play. Ball needs to switch. But you need to get the ball to back here because Sneaky needs to be released back forward. Like Sneaky's come dropping down to play the ball. Like. 100 per oh, that's such a bad pass. <coughs> Harkins giving it a go. I didn't win the header. Jack missed the header. Good Lord, what's going on? What is going on? All right, good, good play, Cookies. Corner's just going to go from one side to the other. No big deal. Brat's got a 7.0 already. I, I didn't contest for the header for some reason, but Brat's got it anyway. <laughs> you can tell which one's Jack and which one's me because we both have the, the throws, man. For some reason. Jack's got that big brown fro. And I've got that big almost black fro. Oh Jack. What have you done mate? Harkin is on. Here comes the cross. It's a good header frack. It's a corner for them though. Tarleton. Really pressing us man. Oh, back post, way over everybody. Great ball, Snicky. What a ball. Parks had time to settle it, didn't need to play it first time. Could have given himself options. Good knock on, Frack. And now the ball back post. Sheamus! Come on. The Conicun special here. Oh my word. Off the bar. Great win, Snicky. Holy moly. Why is Parks giving it back to you? What? Why is that pass even made? Like, cut back in with it, you know? Ah, come on, Jack. You had options, mate. You, need to, you, need, you didn't need to go back central with it. There you go. Good cut out, though. 
Frack on early cross, back post. Oh. Good run down, Sheamus. Good ball back for Twinkle, good touch. Ah! Oh. Spaps! Oh. That was very close. That's probably the best opportunity that we've had so far. Aside from potentially Kuni Kun's absolute wonder goal off the post. That would have been the right idea, but Snicky was too far back. That ball needed to wait, and Snicky needed to run another like two or three steps before that ball could have been played. And, and then that ball would have been perfect. But... Parkin has it. Step up on him, Parks. Step up on him. Press. They're, they, they're playing a really... Uh, they're playing a lot of guys forward, I feel like, now. That might be on because Jack. Oh, what a block. Great block from Jack. Nice claim, Brat. Nice claim. Brat's playing real well. Brat and Twinkle both are playing pretty good. Parks, good find. Ah, that ball needed to be over the top so Shemus could use his pace. Now Parks is out of position. Twinkle's out of position. Jack just might have fouled. Jack, good cutout. Good block. How put this not going in? How was that not going in? How have they not scored? I have no clue how they haven't scored. Twinkle, Spaps, might be off. Flag's gone up. Yeah, flag's up. They're actually beating us in the XG, in the XG stats. 0.86 to 0.53. Oh, boy, what a ball. What a header. Ball is clear. I would say they've had, like, two real clear-cut chances. Oh, that's got to be off. Yep, flags up. That's a rare sight. Yeah. Yeah, they've had two really clear-cut chances. One was the play brought tipped onto the post, and the other was that play there where they broke forward and caught us on the break, and somehow Jack got in front. Like they they really honestly should be two nil up, and we're they're not right now. <coughs> so, oh, come on, mate. Where's the passing? It needs to be better. What's our pass rate at? Eighty-eight percent. We're still sloppily giving the ball away there. Frack can't take the one-on-one -on -one with the back to goal here. Good ball. Not a good ball. It was a good ball from Frack to Twinkle, and then Twinkle just really let it let it go. <laughs> just just really gave it away. Now Harkins just unopposedly. Bala might be offsides. I think that's a possibility. But he didn't play the ball, so it'll be a corner. But we're uh, we're not playing too good. I didn't mean to go to instructions. I'm sorry. Brock claims it. Very nice. I meant to encourage. And if they get upset at me for trying to encourage them, I'm going to be pissed. <coughs> Brock's going to... Oh, okay. It's a good throw. Frack. Options in the center. Kuna Kuna needs to... That's a dangerous ball. It's a good turn from Snicky. Now Sheamus can be released. Parks needs to come forward for the overlap. Twinkle. Twinkle. Why? That's the second time now you've given the ball away, mate. And I didn't keep the shape. I just ran all the way back, and Jack tried to step up for the offsides trap. And now they're on, and that is an easy as you let go. The flag's up on offsides. Reset is off. 
The shouts don't make sense in FM. They really don't. Oh, just confirm changes, please. I mean, he is miles offside, so. <clears throat> They're all fired up by the feedback. That's good. There's really only two or three I find that really work and do what I need to do. Why is this guy doing the jumping jacks? What the? Oh, my God. Why are we just gifting the ball? What's possession been like? Are we out possessed? No, we've had 69% of the possession. But they've had all the chances. I feel like someone did a guide on how and when to use them. You know what? Honestly, that might be true. Why has he been left on? Why has he been left on sides? But that felt like cheating. Eh. Not really, if you know what. Like, what? where is Jack? Where is Jack in this play? Jack is way off. Opens the space. I've got the defender behind me and in front of me now, right? I've gone forward to take the man in front, and he's just passed to the ball to the man behind. Oh, my God. Fuck's sake, Jack. Just give the ball away. You know what it's time for. Show some passion! <laughs> <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, but this this I feel like this version of FM is very wonky. In terms of, like, the demeanor, like, you know, the posturing that you do in the halftime talk or whatever, right? And also the, the shouts and the, the player moods on, like, the reaction to being picked and not picked and shit like that. I just feel like it's very odd this year. Frack to me. Back to Frack. Good cross. Ward. The set. Challenge for it, boys. Challenge for it. Oh. It's gone out to Gunther. Ah, oh, come on. Ref. Parks won that. I've been booked as well. Christ. Friendly match or not, that's unacceptable. Let's pause because I also need to tell myself to ease off tackles. And what do we do? How do we start the second half? We gift the ball. Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, Snicky. There we go. Find, found it to frack. Keep dribbling, mate. Keep going. You got the cut back here. The cookies. It's inconsistent. I have a striker at the moment. Every other game he gets annoyed with the role he's playing, but sometimes he's happy. Exactly. That's why I don't like... Oh, that is a shame that West was ready for it because Spaps was... Uh, man, he was like a... Uh, he's about to have a steak dinner on that ball. Yeah, that's what I don't like. It's very inconsistent this year. So... <clears throat> and Akoni Kun gifts the ball away. We might have some early early subs here. We might have some early subs. I don't want to sub until the 60th, but if nothing changes by the 60th, we're going to have to bring somebody on. Cookie's just having a run. 20 cool. Oh, Snicky could have put him in. It's good fine for Sheamus. It's good. Oh, he's off. Shit, otherwise that would have been a good good ball. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Press the ball, will you? At least make him make a decision, you know? Oh, fuck, I'm off. I don't understand in a friendly why we're doing this, but okay. It's a fucking friendly. I don't, there's no sub to make, mate. There's no sub to make. A 
Uh, the only sub I'm going to have to do, or the only change I'm going to have to do, is Jack's going to have to go to a no-nonsense center, central, center back, right? That's the only change. I can't, I don't want to switch to four in the back and take someone off the field. I mean, the only thing I could do is maybe potentially uh, take out cookies and make, uh, take out Twinkle, make cookies go full box the box and bring in another center half. I might have to do that. And then how do I, how do I do that? Hang on. How do I actually change the formation? Uh, I'm going to have to drag him back. He goes more center. He goes center. Go center. Thank you. And then uh, uh, Twinkle's going to have to come in for... Or Harrison's going to have to come in for Twinkle. And Harrison's going to have to be a no-nonsense center back as well. <clears throat> and we just change the shape. So the midfielder is going to have to go completely box the box now. He can't rely on on essentially Twinkle to be there. He's got a he's got to really run. What are you two doing? Fire up. And now they're going to be like, ah, prima donnas. Bottle throw incoming, not in a friendly. Uh, but it just, it just, it's frustrating. Like, why, why is one player dribbling into another and then just standing there with the ball? Like, fucking, come on, guys, move, flow, run off the ball. Like, you know, come, do all the things you need to do as footballers. That are very standard. It's just basic shit. You know, this isn't... I'm not pep when you have zones and lanes and shit. Like, it's a fucking traffic jam. Like, just... Towel throw incoming. Like, these guys are probably going to be... Eh. Oh, they're fired up. Okay, good. That was a good... That was a good shout. So. <clears throat> you just want them to move off the ball. That's all. And you don't want them to do stupid shit like dribble towards another player like dribble into space you know <coughs> cookies is booked great cookies is box the box now and fucking booked I don't know why we're I don't know why we're booking two, three players in a fucking friendly. Ward's just... It, this is going to be goal number two. Just out of shape. Completely out of shape. Just no reason. No no reason. Like, where, they both lost the man. Now Jack has to come over. It means that... Uh, Harrison is weak side... And the ball could just come across uncontested. It's it's no. It just it's just is what it is. Have we had a game without getting booked? I think we've had one or two. Last season, if I remember correctly, we had like two. I want to say. So we're being dominated as well in the match momentum. It's frustrating. It is a friendly, but it is frustrating. So I'm gonna have to tell the team. You do that again, I'm, I'm going to have to tell the team, if you do that again, you're going to have to buy another couch. Like, fuck your couch. Like, <clears throat> it's a good ball. And a Kony Kun just didn't run towards it. Ah, uh, frack.
but we're two nil down. We're two nil at a man down. I don't see us winning the friendly. And now Parks just got hurt. Parks is taking a knock. We should no. Let him run the knock off. There you go. See, you wanted to take him off, and he's he's he headed it clear. Sorry. <laughs> there you go, Brian. I'd like to see if we can get a goal. Literally just score one. I mean, we lose 2-1, at least we're showing some fight, you know? We have been fucking atrociously poor this game, though. It's a good ball. It's a good ball. I think he needs help. Frack is nowhere near ready. It needs to go to Spaps. Oh, good ball. A Kony Kun in space. Snicky's off sides. Kony Kun needs to just take it. I'm signing off tonight, guys. All right, it's the Street Hugger. Have a great night. Thank you for hanging out. It's not a bad ball. Nope. And thank you for the sub as well, by the way, Tree Hugger. Appreciate you. Uh, Jack, cookies. Needs to go here. Needs to go here. It's the wrong side. It needs to go. Needs to go other side of the man so Parks can run into the space with it. It's a good ball. Ah, uh, we didn't get to it. There you go. There you go, Frack. Now that's too hard. Now that's uh, like just look up. Pick your head up. Now we're out of shape. Bissett's on side because Jack's keeping him on sides. Gunther, that's a terrible move by. Jack and we're lucky Gunther missed. They are. They, or XG's got to be. Yeah, I was going to say, their XG's got to be two. Ours is 1.15, to be fair. We've had some chances. We just haven't fucking put it on net. Good clear. Come on, Sheamus. Pick it up. Run with it, man. Run, run with it. Good ball. Why are three? In? This is the problem. This is the problem. You have two center backs here. Look at this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. This is the problem I have. Uh, let's go here. This this isn't it. I don't think. Is it? Yeah, this is it. So, Cookies has the ball, right? And he's in a space where he's behind the one line, right? And he's he's dragged the defender over. Now, when he gets to the end line, when he gets to the byline or he just gets to the box, what happens? The players here stop the run. They wait for the ball. First off, two of them are in an offside position. And second off, somebody has to realize Sheamus is on the wing. He's coming in from the wing, right? Cookies is the midfielder. He's come down to help him. There needs to be a run here to pick the ball up. Snicky could come near side. Now now you have Sheamus trying to take the space, but you've already got two, two guys willing to make the tackle. If you've done the job of dragging the defender over, and you have two or three players in the attacking team. These two need to be able to make a run down here to split the defenders. Because you can have him marked by the other one, and you still have a third option on the late trailer. Or he doesn't pick him up, and now you have a run, and you have an opportunity to do something with the ball in this space. It just it needs to be better. Like, it just needs to be better. It's, it's very... Like, they're just running into each other. <clears throat> and I don't mind expressive freedom. I want my players to play, play very loose, play very freely. But they need to be able to take different areas. Jack is coming over to see this is what's happened there. There was an opportunity to play that ball around Jack. 
but Marshall didn't see it. And he just, oh my God, that stayed in. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. That's also just football. Sometimes no matter what you do, it just doesn't go your way. Although we have not played well enough to win this game. There's no, there's no doubt about that. We deserve to be losing this game. But we just, <clears throat> it needs to be smarter. And it's not, it's not right now. It's very lazy. Players aren't making runs. Players aren't, um, aren't, aren't playing into space. They're just, everybody just kind of expects it to happen instead of work to make it happen. I think that's right now the issue that we're, we have. See, that's good. Cookie's in the space. The ball's not bad. Sneaky doesn't get to it, but you create your own luck in this game sometimes, you know? We haven't done that this friendly. Just punch to the keeper. Brian's got it. We're... we're we're running. <clears throat> All right, Brock. Let's make a sub. Uh, I think he's on a point three. Let's bring McCundy in. Actually, uh, and then let's slot Spaps back to the left and bring Thompson in for Sheamus. Since Sheamus is on a 6.1, he's been particularly poor. Snicky's not been very good this friendly either. I'm curious what game wants you to do, what the game wants you to improve the kind of personnel decision makings. I think he wa I think the game wants me to play a more. Uh, standard traditional type of football and I don't I like I really like a more free free flowing and kind of chaotic football you know nobody plays a libero with a register with a regista with a trecoista with a you know what I mean these are he is miles off sides and that should have been flagged down but I don't know I also don't put things into like set pieces. I don't. I haven't drawn up set pieces. Everything's just default. But <clears throat> sometimes it just is what it is, man. Sometimes the game is just much. And I don't mean the game is in Football Manager. I mean just football. It just you come out and you play like shit. Because there's games where the squad is genius, and there's games where they look. Their age, yeah. That's a good point. I don't. That's just. That's just the way it is, man. Football, McCundy, McCundy. How? Why? <laughs> why McCundy? And you've recovered it, but you've had a a goal, and then a Konikun lets the ball get taken off. I'm like, what more can I do, man? The players can't. They can't. They're not working. They're not working right now. Spaps has been good, but he's been the only. Oh my God, Jack and Parks, fuck's sake, guys! And then why? Why are we out of shape? Why is there one defender here? Now this guy can be played in, and he's miles on sides. Where is the shape? I changed them to both no nonsense center backs. And, oh come on, Jack! You get a challenge for that ball. This should be three. It's not. They miss. I don't know. Very poor. <clears throat> the thing that I don't get is the shouts. Right? I haven't had a shout wrong. They're all like looks motivated, looks fired up. And yet they don't play fired up. They're just fucking pissing it around right now. There you go. There you go. Cookie. Oh, off the bar. 
Cookies has been all right. Spaps has also been all right. Oh, Jack's now booked. He's already told to eat off, ease off tackles, and he's still got booked. Tom said, Connie Coon. I was going to say, ball over the top wouldn't have been bad. McCundy looks like he wanted to make that run. Keys. I, he's off anyway. McCundy would have been off. It's tough to force that through. Now, now Jack can't fucking. Oh, he's off sides, thank God. That was a leap of faith, if anything. There you go. Come on, Frack. Give us something to cheer for. Nope. West. He's been good. Credit to their keeper. They've been all right. We haven't challenged him enough, though. We've only had, what, 11 shots, two on target? Oh, three on target. That's good ball movement. That's good save from Brat. Brat Wall. <coughs> Brat's played okay. He, really, he, he hasn't. Brat couldn't do anything about either goal. Either goal. It's just poor defensive movement led to both goals. <laughs> Nicely done, Brat. Nice grab. Three minutes. Not going to shout anything. We only got two and a half minutes. No point. We're, we're, we've lost this game. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Overall, though, good day. Overall, good day, yeah. We'll probably not get to the next game. We might, but I don't think we will. Because we, we, we have seven... Instead of three days between fixtures, we have seven days between fixtures now. So I think those seven days are going to take a while. Uh, well, Kundi, uh, that's wide. Well, wide. We'll see how far we get, but the other game's going to take. The games take about 20 minutes, so I have tw 20 minutes to get to that game. We'll see. Offsides. Frack is offsides. That should be the final whistle. It is the final whistle. That was fucking atrocious. Uh. I'm satisfied with the progress of it. No. Uh, we, we weren't good enough. And I don't have the words to express how angry that makes me. Uh, when the real... Fi I think this is the only option. When the real fixtures start, I want to see a significant improvement. Uh, so. That's the only polite way of telling them to get their shit together. Now, I, you know, don't get me wrong. It's a team fucking six levels above us you know we're not going to win that game but it's still an extremely poor showing it has to be said so cool finishing Tarleton Corinthians prevent upset Parks is out two to three days we've got seven to go we'll see if we can get there um Otherwise, we'll process all the way up to the fixture and then just do the fixture tomorrow. So you might have another really quick episode of CLGFC if that's the case, in all honesty. But um, let's see let's see what we can do tonight. Uh, we'll put it that way. So, um. <clears throat> Somebody just told me, somebody just pinged, Bones just pinged me about the Union Stadium. They say, it looks like it's in the middle of the... the the water under the bridge it's it is it looks so cool and then like it is right under the bridge it, it is both right under the bridge and on the water <laughs> i 
I would love to commentate football for a living. Can you imagine? Uh, that'd be a dream come true. Uh, anyway, uh, just checking. Uh, fucking hell, somebody found an old tweet. Uh, okay, so if you're on YouTube, that's episode 20.9 done. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you for 20.10, which will be um, the Wire Villa Reserves. It might be all the processing in between, actually. I might just call it because we have, uh, what, it's 10.45? And I do have to be up a little bit early tomorrow. It Here's the deal. It's either I call it now on Twitch and I go to bed and I can get up a little bit earlier and actually go to the gym before I go golf tomorrow, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Or we go for another 38 minutes and I get up late tomorrow and then just go golfing without the gym. I'll probably choose the gym. We'll probably choose the gym because I need to lose weight so I can fit into all these wonderful... UK jerseys that I'm buying. Um, so let's have a cheeky save and let's let's call it. I don't want to process on this episode, and I don't want to I don't want to have just an episode of 30 minutes of processing. So we'll come back tomorrow night. Uh, we will be streaming tomorrow night. So every I mean I have so many people to thank. It's unbelievable. You guys have been fantastic. It's the tree hugger, a Coney Coon. Michael Dark, uh, FM, have all been wonderful to have you all, honestly. Um, and then, obviously, uh, TSI Killer came by. Um, uh, Toma Lad came by as well. Big thanks to everybody that came by. My 11K frogs. How many do you have now? Because that was like four hours ago, mate. You should have at least like two, 300 now, I think, right? So, but anyway... That's 1K. There you go. Okay. So 10K frogs that you lost, really. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We will be back tomorrow night with more of CLG FC. Until then, uh, let me see who's actually live, if anybody. Uh, we will send you there. Um, Yumer is live, uh, the CS player. And that's really about it, I think. Uh, I'm going to send you to Killing UT, actually. Because he's a good dude, and he plays on real tournaments. So, bye YouTube. Yes, episode 20.9 done. Thanks so much for watching on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you in the next episode, I should say. 20.10. Until then, take care.